Hello, this is Boshar. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can limit access to our endpoints based on user roles. Again, we have our code repository right here, and there are three tags for this repository. This bcrypt one is for my tutorial about how we can introduce bcrypt a password encoding to our application and the security basics are basically showing how we can introduce Spring Security to our application and this role-based security is the, the code we are going to do in this tutorial. So let's clone this repository and start building an application with role-based authentication. So let's clone the repository right here and opening this folder in Visual Studio Code. Now let's switch to the uh, security basics tag. We are going to build our tutorial on top of this tag. And let's check the project. Here we have the pomxml. The Spring Boot version is 2.4. Java version is 11. We have data JPA. We have Spring Security, we have the Spring Web, and we have the Developer Tools, which is automatically restarting our application in every uh, change we have in our files. And we have the H2 database, the Lombok, and the test dependencies. And if we check the source code of the project, we have this uh, the main class here, and we add this uh, rest endpoints for get mapping. One is for the secure, the other one is for public. Other than that, we have this user package. We have this user entity and we have this user controller where we have this post mapping and we are saving user to a database through this user service. It is encoding the user password and saving to a database. We have this user repository. And um, in the configuration, we have this security configuration. In this configuration, we are uh, authorizing requests going to this endpoint, this secured endpoint, and this secured endpoint is right here. So we were just dem demonstrating how we can access to this endpoint with the authentication. We are having this basic authentication. And when we are finding the user from database, we were using this user auth service. And this is loading the user from user a database, a user table, then returning this user details. Uh, when we were doing this part, we have uh, incorrectly edited this uh, authority list. Now in this tutorial, we are going to fix this part and we are going to use this part. Uh, but uh, let's start like this. Let's update our user entity first. Let's say this user will have role in it. So it will have a private field. Let's say it's a string and uh, the field name is role. For this case, we are setting a user has only one role, but um, in implementations, in other implementations, a user might have multiple roles. Uh, so this is just for the for this case. It doesn't mean that a user only has one role. Uh, so we have this role field, and even it is not the best way, uh, we will be allowing user to send the role uh, through the uh, post request. Uh, for this tutorial, we are not going to go into that details, uh, but we will just allow that REST request to contain the user role and the user roles are up to us. It can be admin, the user, the system admin, or any other role we may need. So let's start like this. Let's start the application. Uh, by the way, let's also check these resources. Here, the, the database is being created at this uh, file, current directory temp file, and it has this uh, username and these configurations are basically for creating the, the H2 in a file. So the, the database is created. Currently, we don't have any user, so let's create users. For that, I'm going to use Postman. 
So this is the endpoint for creating users. And we have this username, email, and password. And let's add the role. Let's say this is user sending it. So the user is created and that user has the role of user. And let's create admin. Let's say the email is this one and the role is this one. Sending it. And here we have the admin. So we have two users. One, of, one is the user. The other one is the admin. And let's create an endpoint. Again, let's do this in this uh, uh, main class. We have this secured endpoint, but let's add another one. And let's say the path for this one is secured-admin. And let's say only admin can see this. And let's also change our method name. Let's say secured admin. So we have a new endpoint and we want only admin user to access this one. So in our security configuration, we can update this part like this. We can say, here we are saying the secured, this forward slash secured is authenticated and we can add another ant matchers here and we can say secured dash admin this is the path this one secured admin can be accessible by user role and we define the role like this has any role and the role is admin so only users having this admin role can access to this endpoint. Now, when a request is received, uh, the user is loaded in this user auth service, and this user auth service is finding user and returning this user details because this method is looking for this, uh, this type of object. And here we are creating the user roles, and we do that uh, like this hard coded. Uh, but uh, let's change this. Now the user has the field of, let's say, in db get role. We will use this one. Uh, but the, there is a naming uh, convention for the uh, roles. And it starts like this. Uh, for instance, uh, the if our user's role is admin, then it must be starting with uppercase role underscore admin and if that user role is different let's say sys admin or let's say guest so it must be having this part before the role uh, we are setting for the user so let's make this part like this we will have the role underscore and we will append the uh, in db get role to it now let's save all these changes. I'm not sure if the app is restarted, so just stopping it and starting it once more. The dev tools are not always uh, working smoothly. So sometimes you need to restart the application manually. So the application is up. Now let's go to the postman and let's try to go to this secured endpoint. So currently in our request, we are not sending anything related about our authentication. So let's see what's going to happen. So we are receiving 401. And if we go to secured admin, again, we are receiving uh, this 401 response. Now let's make our request with the user. So we are selecting the basic authentication and this is user and this is the password sending the request. Here we were sending our request to secured admin and we are trying to access with this user. So we are receiving this forbidden. 
but if we go with the admin user here it is seeing this message only admin can see this so that's how we can add user role to security we can achieve the same result with different implementation and let's practice that one too so here in the security configuration let's remove this part and instead of this one we will activate the future of spring security and we will do it right here in the class definition part we will add an annotation right here and it is enable global method security and this annotation is having a parameter and that is pre post enabled and let's set this one to true now we can define the security rules on method level so here in the admin secured admin endpoint we can add an annotation for defining this rule here and that annotation is pre authorize and in this annotation we can pass a spring expression language spell and this has keywords and one of the keyword is has role and this has role is consider this one as a method and it is taking a parameter and we will pass our parameter a string in single quote and we are looking for role underscore admin in this one we pass role in the has role uh, function but when we were setting the uh, the role here in this configuration we didn't have to add the role to the part here so after end measures we were saying has any roles we were just setting this has any role to like admin we didn't have to set role underscore admin but in this uh, expression we have to say that this must be a role underscore admin now let's save all these changes uh, again i don't see it is restarted so just stopping it and starting one more time again going to postman and this is the secured admin we are admin user let's send a request we are receiving 200 okay and we can see the message and if we go with the user we are receiving this 403 forbidden the message payload is changed in this one we are still seeing 403 but the payload is changed so there are behavioral differences between this method level uh, method level authorization uh, and this uh, configuration uh, right here so that's uh, that's triggering this difference in the response we can have a standard error messages in spring and you can check my other tutorial about exception handling in spring boot to see how we can create our custom response in error cases like this so that's all for this tutorial we have completed our role based authentication and uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials